the average bath consumes 80 liters of water. Dry bath is 25 milliliters of water, just once a week. Our goal is to get 10% of the world's population to skip a bath, even if they don't use dry bath, to skip a bath once a week. When someone uh, wakes up at night and moves with a torch, the lions are afraid of, some, um, of the lights because they are thinking this is a person which is coming. So I had to make, make bulb switches splashing because the lions are afraid of something which is moving. Uh, Uganda team for Nokia. Uh, I published that app late last year, like in December. And the first time, the first week of its, account, its launch, it became number three in the most downloaded teams in the world. That's when I felt like, well, this is my, my number one of everything I've developed. This is it. This is what's going to make my mark. Technology will largely impact Africa because of mobile penetration and because of the various ways that we have skipped ahead of our predecessors in the, in the West. And so, mainly because of the mobile phone and the penetration that has happened in Africa. There was an existing small community of techies, uh, software developers, web developers, designers in general. The problem was when they eventually met, um, they worked on ideas at that, in, in those few minutes or few hours they were together. But then when they went back home, everyone went to their bedrooms. There was no physical space, an access point for people to come back and, and do stuff together, collaborate on projects. When we first um, made the device, the projects, the electrolytic cell exploded because the hydrogen oxygen gas um, backfired from the generator into the electrolytic cell and that caused the explosion. To me, it's a great achievement it's something that I personally would say is like a change to the norm. Everybody thinks that, oh, this is from outside. Oh, this is from outside. Now they can see it's coming from within.